Hello everyone, I'm Brianne Thorne Stanzel, author of The High Queen and therefore the mind behind all that is Tanaro. If you've been following my author Facebook page for a while, you might be wondering why this video is on YouTube and not merely posted to Facebook per usual. No, I am not trying to become a YouTuber. I don't have the time or expertise for that. Um, when I post a video to Facebook, I have to pay money to have people not already liking my author Facebook page to see it. As I'm trying to market the book, this could get pricey. Um, YouTube, it's free to post and it can go to anybody. So on YouTube it goes. Um, if you haven't heard of my book or the world of Ternaro uh, before, just look in the description for the link to the Facebook page and um, the website for my author website and the book and all of that. Um, as always, this is a disclaimer to anybody who's new, I do not permit disrespectful comments of any kind. Um, disagreement and debate are good and welcomed, awesome. I only ask that it remains respectful. Um, I remove comments that do not follow this rule. Uh, it doesn't matter if I agree with you or don't agree with you, if you're being disrespectful, it's gone. No questions asked. Um, while I prefer <laughs> minimal profanity, that's not gonna get you immediately deleted. Um, I'm a big girl, I can handle profanity. I have been known to use it on occasion. Um, all right, now onto the meat and potatoes. Um, I did do something similar to this video in the past, but as my uh, author page has grown a little bit, it's time for another author intro. So, as of filming this video in June 2020, I am 29 years old and I am a wife and mother living on the Iron Range in Minnesota. My primary profession is not an author. <laughs> um, by day, I'm an elementary special education teacher. I do not teach academics, however. I work with all things social, emotional, behavioral, and executive functioning. What does that mean? I work with the hard kids the kids with poor hygiene, um, the kids who cry, the kids who can't sit still, the kids who are very angry. I get asked all the time, is my job hard? Yes. Sometimes it is very much so. I won't go into detail some of the stuff I've had to deal with and see, but it is heartbreaking, it is frustrating, Think of all the adjectives you could picture, it's probably that. Um, however, I love it and I couldn't picture myself doing anything different. Um, I also teach English online to kids in China for VIP Kid. I can link my VIP Kid referral code in there and then if you'd like to work for them, I can help you do that. Um, I've been married to my husband, Dan, since 2016 and we have two beautiful daughters. Um, Sophia will be three in July and Nina will be one in a week and a half. Um, I'm a big animal lover, but due to Dan's allergies, which he actually likes animals too, um, my dog Daisy does live 10 minutes away at my parents' house, um, but they have her actual mom and her littermate sibling, so I promise you she's not sad about this. It's not really affecting my parents' life negatively. Also because they live in the country, I live in town, and I got Daisy when I was 19, and so I was still living with my parents at the time. Um, so she actually has never lived anywhere else, and we all decided that that was in Daisy's best interest. I do go see her all the time. My daughters absolutely love her. They just saw her, what was it, Saturday? It's, I don't know what day of the week it is. I think it's Monday, I think. Um, they just saw her a couple of days ago. They love her. I don't think any of you whom I don't know personally. The page started with, I knew everybody personally, but that is no longer the case. Um, you, so if you're not one of those people that I actually know, you've never seen this space. Last summer, I would film on my porch, which was amazing when it was nice, but it's not nice today. So I am filming in my newly finished art studio space. My husband is finishing up a lot of the stuff on our house himself. We just, it's a new build house. We've been in here about a year and a half. Um, so this was his project over the winter. So you can probably see behind me, there's a built-in shelf that he put in with some of my art supplies. 
Um, and this is where I will be making a lot of the items for the Magic's Marketplace, which if you don't know anything about that, you can find out about it on the Facebook page or on my website, which is all linked down below. Um, this is where I will do it because it's in the basement. It's got a door that locks. There's a utility room next door to me with a sink, which is pretty imperative because I will be making soap and I have little ones. As for the book, um, it is actually a dream I had in 2014. Yes, with a plot, the whole nine yards. Yes, that is, it's a dream. Um, and then I wrote it down and it was accepted and published by Christian Faith Publishing in 2016. Now, if you do not share my faith, don't worry. <laughs> this book is 100% fantasy and in no way preachy. It is, it's fantasy, it's not real. I'm not trying to tell you it's real. Um, and as the world of Ternaro in the books is a place built on kindness and helpfulness and compassion and respect, so are all of my media places. Anywhere that you can leave comments. I am the Christian who believes that I myself am very flawed and therefore I have no right to judge the deeds of other people. Um, that, in my opinion, is for the big man upstairs alone. It is not my job. And so therefore, I truly believe to keep this place kind and free of political and other drama. I safe place for anyone. I don't, we just, we don't name call. We don't bring people down. We are all equal in the eyes of God. And therefore, if you have a negative opinion, like I tell my students, you can keep it in your head. Um, if you would like to learn more about the book or anything like that, you can head to my Facebook page or my website and you can keep up with what's happening with Magic Market's place. Um, as me filming this, I just received the shipment of lye today so I can make the soap. For those of you who don't know, you have to have lye to make soap. Um, so now, from now on, when I make videos, I will be doing it through YouTube just because that way I have a potential to get it out to more people without having to pay money. I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher's salary. I think we all know what that means. All right, I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay kind.